Hello everyone, I'm Toby Lee. I'm a fifth year PhD student at CMU. Today I'm presenting an interactive test learning system that learns from GUI grounded natural language instructions and demonstrations. Interactive test learning is a process where the agent learns the definition of new tasks through natural interaction with human users. It addresses the problem where the agent can't understand the user's command of a task when the task is out of domain. Prior work, as, our, as well as our formative study, found that there's a huge long tail of app usage and computing tasks. Those tasks are not supported by default in most intelligent agents, but can be taught by the users. Interactive task learning allows end users of the agent to teach new tasks and concepts. Prior approaches include programmer demonstrations. A major challenge in this approach is to generalize from the recorded actions so that the agent can handle different contexts instead of just replaying exactly the same sequences of actions. Another approach is natural language instruction, where the user verbally breaks down the procedure of the task in natural language. A major challenge in this approach is how to ground the user's instructions to concrete actions that the agent knows and how to handle ambiguities in natural language. Prior work has been done on combining demonstrations with natural language instructions. Our work continues in this direction and explores new ways to more effectively combine those two modalities in interactive test learning. In our approach, the agent sits in between the user and the GUI. We leverage existing app GUIs as a medium for the user to communicate with the agent and the building blocks with which the user programs the agent and we combine techniques with two different input modalities, verbal instructions in natural language and demonstrations directly on app GUIs. In Sujolite, we seek to address these long-standing key challenges in interactive test learning. We want the system to be usable for end users without program expertise, expressive enough to support flexible test logic, robust so that it can handle unexpected situations, and be able to generalize what it has learned in different situations. In the past four years, we've been designing, implementing, and studying a system named Sujolite. It's open source and has been deployed in small scale with actual user groups. Let me first show a demo video of how it works. If the weather is hot, order a cup of iced coffee. How do I tell whether the weather is hot? When the current temperature is above 70 degrees Fahrenheit. I think what you meant is, the value of a concept current temperature is greater than 70 Fahrenheit. Is this correct? Yes. How do I find out the value for current temperature? You can explain or say demonstrate to demonstrate. I will demonstrate. Please start demonstrating how to find out the value of current temperature. Click OK to continue. Do you want to record the operation? So here you can see the user can just demonstrate how to find out the value of temperature using existing app GUIs. Do you want to record the operation? Set value of OK. I learned how to find out the value for current temperature. OK. I learned how to tell whether the weather is hot. How do I order a cup of iced coffee? You can explain or say demonstrate to demonstrate. I'll demonstrate for you. Please start demonstrating how to order a cup of iced coffee. So similarly, the user can ground the unknown procedure, order a cup of iced coffee to another GUI demonstration. Do you want to record the operation? Click on the Do you want to record the operation? Click on the and Sugolite can actually generalize the procedure. So there's different parameters in this task. Order a cappuccino. Do you want to record the operation? Click on yes. Do you want to record the operation? Click on yes. Do you want to record the operation? Executing the script. And now Sugolai knows how to procedure those actions and how to get those concepts. The value of current temperature is 86 degrees. 
The condition, the weather is hot, is true. Executing the procedure, order an iced coffee. So another thing we found is that almost all smart devices, from light bulbs to cars, have corresponding mobile apps. Therefore, we designed a mechanism to expand Sujulite smart home automation. The user can teach controlling these devices through their corresponding apps. We have connected Sujulite to external web services like email, Twitter, and Facebook through integrating with IFTT, so that the user can also teach tasks that involve those services. Let me present some key features of Sugulite. First, Sugulite uses a top-down laser evaluation dialogue approach for resolving the unknowns. This approach was designed using a natural programming approach. The goal is to make the programming process closer to the way developers think about their tasks, so it's easier to learn, more effective, and less error-prone. In our context, we study the user's natural way to instruct their tasks and then match the design of our system with the user's natural style. We conducted a formative study with 58 Mechanical Turk workers. From the study findings, we came up with the idea of allowing users to use vague, unclear, or ambiguous concepts initially, and later use app screens to help users resolve these concepts in the context of task automation. And we implemented this idea with a top-down recursive laser evaluation structure, as we just saw in the video. Let's look at this example. At the top, the agent recognized the conditional structure, but it didn't understand either the condition or the action. So we used this resolve function to represent those. These resolve functions are typed. You can see the first one expects a Boolean value, and the second one expects a procedure. The system recursively resolves those resolve functions through conversation. Along this process, it learns concepts like those Boolean functions value queries, and procedures of performing tasks. The second feature is how Sugulite supports spoken intent clarification for demonstrated actions. This idea originated from the principles in mixed native interaction. Mixed native interaction is an interaction strategy in which each agent, human or computer, contributes what is best suited at the most appropriate time. In particular, we treat task learning as a joint activity with the same shared goal and consider the uncertainty in the user's goals. Using these principles, we design a mechanism where Sugulite uses natural language dialogues to disambiguate demonstrations. If the user demonstrates an action, the system needs to interpret this action so that it can be correctly replayed according to the user's intent in the future. For example, for this action on the left, there are many ways the agent can interpret it. The easiest is to record, click at the pixel location x, y, or click on Charles Palmer stake. However, this won't be very useful in a different situation with a different list. We will really need to understand the user's intention on why they chose this item in order to automate the task in a generalizable way. We designed the new dialog interface through a formative study with 45 mechanical Turk workers. The results show that an effective way is to ask the users to explain their actions in the context of mobile app GUIs and allow them to help ground their instructions with features visible on the screen about a target item. Let me show a video demo of how, how it does that. Yes. This description matches three items on the screen. Please provide an additional instruction for finding the correct item. So here the system basically asks the user Select the closest one. why you should choose the, the white one, but yeah. not the other red ones. Yes. As we saw in the video, Sugulite parses the user's data description utterances into a logical query, run the query on the GUI, and visualizes the query results on an overlay. When the query is ambiguous, 
Sugulite specifically asks the users to differentiate the original demonstrated item and the false positives. This process goes on iteratively until Sugulite has an unambiguous query that reflects the user's intent. The third key feature I'd like to share is how Sugulite generalizes the learned tasks through grounding the user instructions with the existing app GUIs. There are many benefits on why app GUI is a great medium for users to teach the task agent their everyday computing tasks. To ground natural language instructions to GUIs, Sugulite represents app GUI screens as what we call UI snapshot graphs and parses the user's natural language instructions into graph queries. It transforms the hierarchical UI tree to a graph, adding edges that represent semantic and spatial relations between GUI elements. Sugulite uses a grammar-based floating parser to generate a list of possible queries. It then executes each query hypothesis on the graph and checks whether the result contains what was originally clicked on. If so, it considers its parse as correct running. If there are multiple ones with correct groundings, we use a feature-based model to rank them. And if none of them has correct grounding, Sugulite goes back to the user to ask for clarification. We found this semantic parsing approach very effective for grounding to GUI demonstrations. This graph also encodes a spatial layout of the screen. Sugulite utilizes the GUI grounding to infer parameters in user demonstrated tasks. For example, when the user demonstrates for the procedure, order a cup of iced coffee. One step in the demonstration is to choose the item iced coffee from the menu. This match allows Sugulite to ground iced coffee the user talked about in the instruction to this demonstrated action and finds all these other items in the same menu. This allows Sugulite to order all those other type of drinks without having the user to teach again. A similar GUI-grounded approach is also used for generalizing the learned concepts like HOT based on app context. For our future direction, there are recent works on modeling user interactions on GUIs and inferring GUI semantics. We're really interested in combining the individual user's explicit interactive instruction with this data-driven approach that provide user-independent domain agnostic models. Models like this with like 70% accuracy and limited understanding of the user's specific context are probably not directly useful on its own for task automation. But when combined with user in the loop, we think it can make intuitive task learning much more powerful by enabling more powerful generalization, enabling users to instruct at a higher level so users don't have to go into every single details and enabling the agent to handle unexpected situations and errors. With that, I would like to acknowledge my many collaborators and colleagues. And if you want to learn more, here are the relevant papers we've published on this project. Thank you very much.